My name's Derek Wolf, and I cook with fire. I've discovered what it means to bring fire food and people together. Today I'm here in Kentucky, bourbon country. I'll be preparing a really special meal with some of the folks at Buffalo Trace Distillery. Buffalo Trace is the world's most award-winning distillery. The care and craft behind Buffalo Trace is second to none. I'm really excited to cook with none other than the master distiller, Harlan Wheatley. It's gonna be an action-packed day full of bourbon, people, fire, and great food. When Harlan gets here, we should have the fire rolling. We're gonna have everything preheated and we're gonna jump right into doing some prep. Harlan, how you doing? All right, how you doing, Derek? I'm doing very well. Get a little grub going? Yeah. Great to meet you. Good to meet you. We've got like four uh, cook stations going on. So we'll have the skewers going right here. We've got the meat going to go right on the uh, grill grate. Uh, and then you're going to help me cook a little bit of the veggies over here. All right. And then we have some hanging behind us. We'll hang some pineapples and fun stuff. So we got these awesome Boot Hill knives. Right? Probably sharp. Yeah, they're very sharp. This one's actually made with Buffalo Trace grill stick. All right. You can tell he's spent some time on that blade. Yeah. People always ask, you know, what does a master distiller do? And, you know, we wear a lot of hats. But the main thing that we do is we're responsible for production of the whiskey that we make here at uh, Buffalo Trace. And, and really the proof of that is in the products. It's really all about the products that you make. And the word master to us means that you've been here long enough to master the trade. Although to me, you continue to learn, you know, every day along the way. About 35 years ago, I was stranded in, uh, on a on an island on a fishing trip. Well, you were stranded on an island on a fishing trip. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, we uh, forgot our food cooler. Oh. So we spent three days eating walleye over an open flame with uh, ketchup. My favorite memory is Kentucky Fried Chicken after the thing was over, <laughs> eating mashed potatoes. You know. So on tonight's menu. I have some skirt steaks from Porter Road, uh, some chorizo sausages from Porter Road. We're gonna do some sugar snap peas in the cast iron. We've got some garlic and bacon potatoes going on. Uh, and then we have a hanging pineapple um, that we're actually gonna prep right now. So we're gonna get, we're gonna put this grill grate on real quick uh, and start pre, uh, preheating the skillets so we can throw the potatoes on. Um, and then we're gonna cut this pineapple and hang it. Sounds like cool. a plan. You know, for us, the charring of the wood, the being consistent with temperature is just as important what you were talking about earlier. For us, is important when you're charring that barrel to be at a certain temperature and make sure it's at a, you know, you know fire for us is important. There's two different, two different reasons. We wanna avoid fire at all costs at the distillery, but we also use fire for uh, firing up boilers and using that steam to produce our products. And then the other side of it is when we produce our barrels, we want that fire that burns the inside of those barrels to be really consistent. You know, the speed at which it burns and you know how deep it chars the barrel. And so we really watch that closely, you know, during the production of our barrels. When you cut it right, you're gonna cut it against the grain. This, mm -hmm. and it'll just be this nice, um, soft, not chewy, really quick and easy to cook kind of steak. A lot of the similarities between the way we char our wood and the way we age our wood and the flavors that we're looking at is the same things that he's doing with temperatures and cooking with the food. So it was really interesting and I was happy to be able to do that and learn a few things. I got more in my. <laughs> Cheers. You know, that smoke goes good with the bourbon, along with that pepper. It really does. That's 
good, man. I like it. Slice a little bit more. A little bit of everything here. This is healthy there. Yeah. Super healthy. That's good, man. Tastes great. Nice little crunch. So we're gonna cook up a bunch more of this for dinner. If we have your blessing and approval, we can yeah, uh, definitely move forward. <laughs> On Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, if you don't mind. <laughs> Thanks for coming out and tasting all this. And yeah, let's do another cheer. This has been awesome. Yeah. Cheers. It's good. Jared Thatcher from Boot Hill Blades got a barrel pick while we were here. So we got to taste some of the bourbon right out of the barrel. Crazy experience. We're gonna fill to this bottom line there. So I put my thumb over the top. Ooh. Then once I'm above the glass, I'll lift up my thumb. I'm liking three as well. Two and three are two and three are really good. Yeah. You're here? Without a doubt. That's what we're going with. Flip it over. What do we think it is? I think it's, it's number three. three. Yes! I did move them, but they ended nice. up back in the same spot. <laughs> As I walked through the distillery, you can just see the historicness of everything. They've been making whiskey for over 200 years. It's incredible to be around so many amazing barrels of whiskey um, in one place. Walking through the Rick House is just like bourbon heaven for a bourbon guy like me. So today, we're gonna have Jared Thatcher from Boot Hill Blades, Chris Carter from Porter Road Butcher, Danielle Pruitt from Wild and Whole, and Harlan Wheatley from Buffalo Trace Distillery. And we'll have a few other folks from the distillery. Dinner's uh, being served right now. We got some cast iron bacon garlic potatoes. So is that growing fast? It's growing very fast. Yeah. Speaking of Porter Road, Porter Road chorizo right on the churrasco skewer. conversation. We like to recognize there are a lot of other craftsmen out there and, and there's no difference with tonight if you've got you know people that specialize in making food or making knives or you know their their specialty is hunting or you know there's lots of different crafts out there. The bourbon for us generates good conversations when you have some good friends around the table, good companionship with some really good bourbons and we can talk about the knives that the guys making and uh, the food you know, with the chef and with the hunting stories that go along with that, and it's, it's just a perfect combination. It takes a lot of hard work to prep for a meal like this, but in the end, sharing it with great friends and good people is all that you really can ask for. Guys, I just want to say thank you so much for being here, indulging in some fire-cooked food. It's been a lot of fun drinking some great bourbon from Buffalo Trace, eating some good food from Porter Road, using Knives Over with Jared, uh, and talking some great hunting stories with Danielle, hanging out with Harlan all day today has been great. So I just want to say cheers. Thank you to Buffalo Trace, and this has been a great day and a great night. Yeah. Cheers. Hey. Cheers. 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 So, about five o'clock next Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll be here.